connecting a Warthog Princess with another lug haul. I've actually been sitting on some of this because I wanted to get the orders all together because it was a couple different lug live and then a couple of lug life. And I thought well, it would be better just do it all when it gets here, but some of them are taking forever. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do the first part and then when the rest of it comes, I'll get that out to you in a couple days. But um, yeah, so there's a lot of new things. Some of you have seen a lot of it already and there's more new since I got a bunch of this. But the first thing I got is the shuttle. And that's the uh, like the wine holder. You could of course use it for many other things, but I got four of them. <laughs> Because why just get one, right? Oh my gosh. Um, well, I actually thought legitimately, I have four water bottles that I keep in my truck all the time. They're just like insulated water bottles and stainless steel, double wall, whatnot. But I live in Arizona, so having a little extra insulation is a good thing. It also protects them from banging around. I've been using my Stephanie Dawn wine sleeves, but I think these will be as good or better. So these will also stand up a little better in the thing. So. But anyways, what it is, is a, it folds flat, but when you go to use it, obviously it expands. It has a magnetic flap tab to hold the handles together. So you just release that and there you go. It's just pretty straight, square cube or whatever, rectangular cube. And yeah, it is insulated inside, which is nice. And depending on what you put in here, you could put a lot of things in here. So you could store your choo-choos in there. You could put, I don't know, two, three, four. I don't know. I haven't tried, but lots of things you could put in here. But I'm just going to use it for water bottles or wine bottles because, yeah, we do wine. Um, yeah, especially if I'm putting a wine in my suitcase to take on the cruise ship. There you go. Um, so I got Resort Black. Just been flailing around, sorry. <laughs> I've got wildlife black. Let's see what we got for animals on here. Nice, we got the wild cat, we got the birds, we got, what is that, a lemur? Uh, more cat on the bottom. On the other side, we got a monkey. Got another lemur or whatever it is. Got another cat. Yeah, I got the front end of an elephant. I really was kind of hoping for a full elephant. Oh, there's one. Ta-da! On the side of the pattern, a perfect elephant. And that's a nice sampling of all the animals on the side of this panel, too. Yeah, okay, anyway. Butterfly gray and boho floral black. I'm really, I like this pattern, but sometimes when I look at it, I think, no, it's just too dark. The colors don't pop. But then you look at it in better lighting, and it's like, oh, yeah, no, I really like the subtlety of it and the, yeah. So four shuttles. That'll keep me hydrated. <laughs> um, okay. Oh, that's falling off the chair already. The next thing I got is two sets of seesaws. Now, <laughs> I have a ton of runway envelopes. This is the Seesaw. It's a pair of two-piece clear view envelopes. And just for comparison, I brought out a runway set to see just exactly how close they are. And I think they're basically the exact same thing. So this is in Butterfly Gray. You're gonna see a theme. I'm kind of filling in some gaps on my Butterfly Gray collection and adding a few of the Boho Floral items. So here's the pouches in that. And we'll just open up one of these because they're both the same. And the way they're tagged, you have to break the plastic to get them apart, which is fine. They're mine. But then you got the little doofers everywhere. So that's just a tissue. We got these two pieces and the runway had the same two pieces. So small envelope to small envelope. Uh, lug brand side to lug brand side. Yeah, they both zip the same way. That's open. They're the same, but not exactly the same. Same width, same depth, but it looks like this butterfly gray is like one zipper height taller. Yeah, okay. 
Let's see about these two. Love side to love side. And yeah, the same is true here. You can see it's just like one zipper height taller. I don't know if that was purposeful or coincidental, honestly. Um, but there you go. It is what it is. So I got me some more runway envelopes, seesaw envelopes, whatever you want to call them today. But they are great. I'm actually using a set of these right now in my jive. I have my Shibori purple ones. So I love pouches. No, I don't need that. All right. The next item I got, this is something that had come out. And you know, I got to be honest, I love Love Live. I like to shop socially. I like to ask questions live. I love the interaction with each other and with the hosts. It's all great. It's fun. But I don't have time to be sitting there watching the shows every single day, hours at a time. So I, I like it, but I still go. If I'm going to look for Lug, the first place I go is to luglife.com. Why wouldn't I go to the primary source? I do, of course, skim through the Lug Live um, ones, but you know, I have coupons for Lug Life and I have rewards that I can use over there. And you know, there's just reasons why you shop one way or another. And I don't necessarily need to have everything the very first that it comes out. So I don't run to QVC to get that first launch, new release, new item. Sometimes I grab something, but generally not because I end up paying more. And anyways, so. I, I do order from all the sources, but I tend to not. But this was something I missed. And this is why I don't like all the, so many different things coming out all over the place all the time. It's just a lot of work to keep track of, because by the way, as much as I love Lug, of course, it's not my only brand that I'm deep into. So yeah, there's that. But I miss things because yeah, I didn't watch Lug Live for a day or two or whatever. And they came out with the Choo Choo XL. And I don't even know exactly when, or maybe I noticed it and just skipped over it. But in any case, here it is. I have several choo-choos and I buy them in pairs, but I don't want two of the same. I want coordinating twos. So you have AM and PM or to match different patterns because I don't need two of the same pattern for one thing. That's just me. But I did buy the butterfly gray and the paws navy. And just for comparison, I brought out the regular choo-choo. So let's look at one of these side by side. They are definitely bigger. So when I put them, oh, the tag hanging out. Put them side by side. So the two ends, they are the same length and they're on the side. You can see the difference in size. So it's bigger this way and a little bit this way, but Lengthwise, the same, same. So, there you go. I guess we don't need that right now. And these are both the same. And we'll see the interior of that, so I'm not going to worry about opening it up. But the interior of the Paws Navy is tan and it has hearts and bones, and it says um, lug on it intermittently, like right there. And these are proportionally larger pill things. So the good thing about this, oh, sorry, I got out of the shower, so I'm still drying. My hair is still dry. Um, these are bigger. Now, I don't just use these for pills. Yes, I do take a bunch of vitamins and supplements and stuff, but I use them when I'm traveling. I put, sometimes I'll just put earrings in all of these, and these are big enough. You could even put bracelets or other things. So I, I think it's really great. Um, yeah, it's a little big to carry around as a daily medication thing for me. I just don't need to carry that stuff around. Uh, but we'll come back to that thought in just a moment because there's another one. The mini choo-choo also came out. Anyway, so inside you have the zipper pocket that's basically this segment here. You have the magnetic top that closes, and then you have that rear pocket as well. Also thin pockets. Things like band-aids, maybe some nail files or nail clippers, a uh, little dental floss toothpick things, stuff like that would fit in there, but not much else. Um, if you have like a eyedropper little thing, maybe that would fit in there as well. Yeah, so that's the extra large. And then here's the mini, look how cute they are. So I bought a bunch of these, I'm not gonna lie because, well, I just don't lie, but 
I bought a bunch and there's more coming. Uh, because I love little pouches and this is, oh, and I meant to grab a round trip too. Sorry for not grabbing that. I thought I had one out here, but I must have put it away. But the little mini Choo Choo is just roughly the same size as that in my mind now. It is, I think, just slightly smaller, but it's a great size for just random little things. You could use it as a little tech pouch in your purse. And now I have matching pouches for all my purses, not just the clear view, because sometimes you need something just that big. You could put hand sanitizer, chapstick, put some masks in there. You could use it for medications. And I probably will sometimes. It just put, you know, instead of using like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday in a spare, I could put um, like Motrin in one, Tylenol in one, uh, antacid in one, my headache medicine in another. You know, you could put different things in there. Just a thought. Um, but I also could use this for traveling with earrings. That's what I use my Vera Bradley ones for. I'll put a, a thing here, a couple of videos looking back at travel stuff and talking about a lot of different travel bits and bobs and whatnot. Um, yeah, I don't need those. So we got Paws Navy. Tropical Fog, and I'm just gonna make a little pile of these things because we got a bunch. So got Tropical Fog, Navy, and I should probably show you the interiors. Navy is just a light blue. Sorry. <laughs> and then Ocean Blue, I love this teal color. It's so pretty, I really do. And I think it matches, you know, with like Peacock Multi maybe. It kind of can go with butterfly gray. I mean, it's not a match, but I coordinate things. Yeah, there you go. So I'm just make different piles because we got more coming. So tropical fog, we got the, what is this, box top? Yeah, box top. This is a new item and it kind of popped up on Lug Live. Haven't seen it anywhere else. It was like sold out in a bunch of colors right away. This is totally up my alley, either for a big bag organization, for a snack bag, for um, toiletries on the go, for short trips. I totally love this bag. Um, yeah. Unfortunately, you can also use this for medications and just keep the bottles all standing up in here. It's perfect. You have a clear view pocket on the top. It is semi-rigid top. There's some structure in it and it has a double zipper and that's it. It's very, very simple bag. I just really love it. So yeah, I got this for mostly for travel stuff. There you go. You know what this also would hold? I know this is maybe not what all of you would be thinking, but um, it's almost the same size. I think slightly bigger. My roller skate wheels. You can fit an eight pack of wheels in here because you know you have indoor wheels and outdoor wheels and whatever different things. So I could use these to hold my wheels. Wow. Well, there you go. Not really because I only have one, but there you go. Another idea. Then I got two jib pouches. I love the jibs. It's such a great size. Again, organizing things for travels or whatnot. I've basically stocked up on like everything in the Paws Navy for multiple reasons. So this may be for me or it may end up being like Kelly's toe trimming tool things like her... Um, I have a grinder and some files it's because she hates getting her nails clipped it's a production so we have to work it but in here it's just a, a pouch it's just a pouch it opens right down the middle it opens up really nicely so you can get down in there it has that same interior lining but it also has a plastic clear plastic over it so it's very very wipeable you could use this for makeup all kinds of things don't have to worry about your can bar melting because it's not insulated, but it is wipeable. So we'll put that in that pile. Um, and Tropical Fog. The interior, this one has the tan foulard in there. All right, put that in the Tropical Fog pile. Butterfly gray, yeah. Okay, so on the same note, I got a, another trolley. This is the mini trolley in Butterfly Gray. I did recently buy the XL three-piece set, so I'll put a link here. And I already had the regular size one, but for some reason I didn't have the mini in this pattern. 
And I just needed to fill the set because I have this compulsion to do things like that. But I love the minis actually. These can go inside of a bag like the Via 2 or the Sprout. And you actually could use it as part of a day trip or things like that, not just like travel travels and not just in your bathroom. Um, yeah, so there you go. These are plastic lined on the bottom. They have side zipper sections here. There's the interior pattern and those are both the same. The front pocket on this one is a single zipper. It opens, draw bridges out really nicely. It has two sections all plastic lined in there. And this one doesn't have a back pocket and it doesn't have the trolley sleeve, but honestly it doesn't need it. It has the top carry handle and single zipper. Open it up, you have a mesh zipper pocket on top. And inside you have a pocket on the back wall as a privacy pocket. And then inside is just one big cavern, all plastic lined. Super great, very versatile piece. You can use it for crafting projects, you can use it as a planner, you know, hold all your pens and yeah, I could go on and on and on with ideas of how to use these things. That's why I have like, how many do I have? Uh, well, one day we'll do a trolley collection video because you're going to laugh at how many I have, honestly. Okay, I also decided I needed another coop <laughs> because coop, coop nation. Um, yeah, and I just love the ocean blue, so I did grab it. I think this is number eight, eight or nine. Um, yeah, so these are a great little versatile piece. Some people call it the house bag. I don't really carry a bag like that around the house. I'd rather just throw my phone in my pocket or whatever. My house isn't that big to walk down the hall either. But if I'm out and about, this is a great crossbody. I, I don't typically wear it as a belt bag, but you certainly could. I I got a couple of these in other patterns to match with my Huggy and Chuggy, so I could put those both on my same belt if I wanted to go out on a longer walk with the dog, like going hiking, and I didn't want to really carry a lot of stuff, but I need my phone and some money and ID card and a little more than um, just the Huggy Chuggy, you know, because I could put some snacks in here and maybe a, some battery chargers because my phone sucks and things. Anyway. So there's your loops on the back. It is two main sections. The back section has a privacy pocket and a clear ID window. Is it just the one? Yeah, just the one. It has a bit of gusset to it, so it's about half and half the bag, two, two sections. The front section has the strap in there, of course, which is removable and adjustable. And that's it that's in the front there, but it has this beautiful sea life sand print in there, or stars and shells navy, stars and shells sand. Well, I can't figure out what I'm trying to say there. But yeah, so versatile piece. You can use it for a lot, a lot of things. I like them. Okay. Oh, I've got all my piles. Ocean blue. Stay together. Okay. The next thing I got is another topper. I got this in Stars and Shells Navy for, well, one, because I just like the colors, you know, the blues and teals, but also for cruising. I got it for cruising. And I go to the dog park every day, and I've been wearing a hat mm, about half of the time. So I've got a whole set of <laughs> lug hats to choose from. Um, also, the other new item I grabbed a bunch of, only two in this order, but more coming. These are the new bobsled. These are the eyeglass cases. And again, I always think about things, not just what it was intended for, but how I maybe could use it for other things. Um, not that I mind what it's intended for. I will use them for glasses for sure, but I, I wanted to use them for other things. I got them to use as organizational pouches in purses and bags because it's a very nice clamshell sort of thing. And you can take this little rigid bit that protects your glasses you, there's an elastic thing here, and you can just pop out that little piece. This being my first time, I thought it was going to be a little easier, but it does come out. So it's a nice soft lined, like a microfiber, whatever, soft lined, and then the back is like a plastic piece. 
and there's a name bobsled. But anyway, you can take that out and now you have a pliable little pouch to use for whatever you want in your bag. And there's no organization, it's not plastic lined, but it doesn't need to be for what I would use it for. Also, if you just need to drop some weight and you're not gonna be needing extra protection for your glasses, this still is padded and you can still use it as a glasses pouch. So there's that. Especially if maybe your glasses are just a little bit odd sized or a little bit longer and maybe they don't fit with this in there, maybe you could take that out and then it allows the bag to shape a little differently because it's loose. Yeah, I don't know, maybe. But it is kind of cool that I have a clip on the end of it, which isn't big enough to clip on a strap, but you could clip it onto something else to clip on a strap and it's separate from the zipper, so it's really nice. And this one is lights black, that's the pattern. I know that's a very Christmassy kind of pattern, but it also to me could go year round. Um, but I have enough of them now that I will not need to worry about having to take it out outside of Christmas. But oh, I do love the smooth zippers. So let me put this back in here. I'm not sure it matters front or back or what. But anyway, pops in really nice. And then that elastic bit right back over it. I think it's a little bit tricky to get in and out. Not difficult, just kind of got to work it around a little. Probably it's going to spend most of its time out in my room. All right, we shall see. There we go. That can go back in there. The other pattern I got, this is a flannel plaid, I think it's called. And so it's like a blue, green, and off-white. Kind of fun. This one actually looks crooked. Uh, not just the flannel, but I think maybe it's just the way the interior piece is in there. It looks a little crooked. It looks like this side is taller. Could be an optical illusion, but. Interior of this one is an interesting, it's like tan. Oh, it's the horses. This one has horses interior. So like the paisleys and the horse stuff. You can't see it very well on this. I don't want to take that out again, but okay. So that is the bobsled. And I also was kind of thinking when I bought this pattern, because the other patterns that I wanted weren't there, weren't even being offered yet. They popped up later, which is why I have another order coming. But I thought, you know, that might go with ocean blue. And I think it does coordinate nicely with that. So that's an option. I also thought perhaps this might fit in the coop. Not probably with the hard piece in there, or maybe with it, I don't know. Tags everywhere. Yeah, so it does fit in there, and it's a bit of a tight fit, but if you took that rigid piece out and put small stuff in there and allowed it to squish down, it would fit nicely. So you can even use that in your coop, which is good to know. Anyway, I also thought it would match with the navy, or coordinate rather, um, and it kind of doesn't. This is like a true navy, and this is more like mm, closer to a royal blue navy cross. Um, yeah, at least in this light. It's not, it's not the same navy the way it comes out. But still, blue, green, and white, I would still use those together because I don't care. I'll do what I want. Go with what you got. And the last item I got, this is not something I actually needed, but I thought, well, Kelly needs a bag when we go pack up the camper or we go somewhere and I need to take things for her, toys, treats, extra leashes, collars, um, whatever. Uh, so I'll, I brought it for her. It's a runner, it's a one piece runner. And this is of course, Paws Navy. I think this is a really nice size. It's not super huge. It's kind of like a reusable market tote, so you could use it for shopping, you could use it for moving things around, storing things. It has this big slip pocket right on the front. There's no magnets or zippers or snaps or closures. It's just a slip, nothing on the back. And it's like a grocery bag configuration, you know, the sides. But the sides do um, fold down nicely and the bottom folds up. So it will store flat, which is nice. 
And then on the inside, right in the top of the area here, there's two magnets. They're basically at the bottom of each strap. And so that's your closure at the top. So if you have it bulked out, that's fine. It'll still work. But if those have the opportunity to come together, it'll close your bag at the top and kind of just keep things from falling over. It is a short strap bag, so it's not a tote that you're gonna, you know, throw it over your shoulder and be able to carry it like that. You can, if you're little, put it over your shoulder. This is not even getting to my shoulder, so that's not happening. Thankfully, that's not what I bought it for. But it carries fine like this. It carries fine over the crook of the arm and, you know, down at your side. So a lot of carriage options for that. And it's the regular love material. But, yeah. That's it, nothing on the inside. Simple, simple, but I like simple, so I got it. All right, that is all for this one. I know it was a little bit all over the place. I'm excited, I have a college buddy coming into town tomorrow, so I'm gonna go up to Phoenix and Scottsdale and meet up with them and, oops, while I put all this away, I'll tell you about it. We're gonna have brunch and then we're gonna hang out all day and then we're coming here. She's coming to my house for the night, so I've been cleaning house, that's why. My face is all red, I got all sweaty. So this was two different orders. Well, it's actually three, but um, three orders and I got, between those three orders, I got two pens. I got the Flamingo Mint and I got Camo Black. And I did not have this one. So that's nice. I like, I like getting new, different ones to add to the collection. And I do really like the pens. Um, yeah, they're fun. Thank you, love, for the pens. They go great with the, the pencils and the other pens and the notepads and everything else. So I love it. All right. Always love a good bonus. I'm looking around, make sure I didn't miss anything. That is it for this haul. I hope you're having a great weekend and uh, rolling into a great week next week. I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.